Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, my name is Nelly. Today's topic is about is the other woman a problem? You know, I saw this article where a 75-year-old woman killed the husband because he was cheating. I'm sure you'll be asking yourself, why bother? I mean, at 75, when it comes to feeling it has no age, can you imagine this woman was jailed at the age of 75? Is it really worth it though? Is it really, really worth it? So ladies, let's just discuss this problem because it's a very sensitive one. Is the other woman a problem really? The truth is men will always look. Some are able to control themselves and some can't. Then there are those men that have values. The problem is with us women, we are always blaming the other woman. Instead of blaming your partner, have you thought about the problem here? Because it takes two to ten. Instead of blaming the other woman, what if she is not the problem? What if she was lied to? What if this man played both of you? But at the end of the day, we don't look at it that way. We always blame the other woman. Sometimes we can blame the other woman, especially if they know that this person is married and they still go ahead with the relationship. So when it comes to this topic of the other woman, it's important to approach this with sensitivity and understand that every situation is different. Your situation may be different from mine. So there are points that we need to consider when it comes to approaching the other woman. One of the points that you need to consider is your personal boundaries. You need to understand that personal boundaries have to address as early as possible in a relationship. But so many of us, Leave it until it's too late. We start accepting what this person is doing because you're so much in love with this person. And some of the things you just let it go and you let it slide with the hope that maybe you'll tell this person at the later stage. Understanding what you want in a relationship is key. You need to set your boundaries from the beginning. Don't let it go. Because a good man will respect your boundaries because he knows the implication of cheating. When he really loves you, he doesn't want to put you in that trauma. So the next point that you need to think about is open communication. Open about everything, what you want and what you don't like. Reflecting on what you want in a relationship gives clarity to the other person. If you don't do that, the other person won't know what you want. The problem is we never ask these questions. We never ask the very important questions in the beginning and we leave it until it's too late. If you don't ask these questions, he'll get relaxed and think he can cheat because probably he thinks that you're not seeing that he's cheating. There are women out there that are always available, whether this person is married or not. If your man is weak, they'll make sure that they get him and he goes into that trap. And the next point is try and get some support, maybe from family or even friends. Or maybe someone that is really professional if you want your relationship to work. Remember, focusing on you and your well-being, it controls the situation and you become more productive than trying to focus too hard on the situation. This brings a lot of stress because once you're overthinking of things, you're overthinking that your relationship is not working or your husband has started cheating or all sorts of things, it affects you and it affects your career as well. And health issues will start creeping in because they're too straight. Because blaming someone is a complex issue, especially in situations like a relationship. You cannot blame the other woman if you have not find out what is the reason. Sometimes you can blame the other woman and yet you are the problem here. Try and understand where is this problem coming from before you start blaming someone. And take that responsibility as well. Because when it comes to relationship, it's generally more constructive to focus on the responsibility than focusing on blaming the other party. You get to understand the situation when it's clear why this has happened. We cannot even blame the 75-year-old because maybe this thing has been going on for years and she stayed in this situation with the hope that things will get better. When you keep things inside and you don't talk about them, one day you will explode. And maybe that's the reason why. Maybe she exploded because she kept these things with the hope that things will get better. In that way, you can be able to move forward regardless where the blame was placed. Moving forward also gives you the chance to heal. It's a priority that you need to heal 
for yourself, not for the other person. Finding a way to move forward also makes you to heal. In that way, you'll be able to start all over again with your life if that is possible. When you stop judging and start thinking, what may have gone wrong in this relationship? I know you may be thinking, this is crazy. I cannot be fighting over a grown man. Because when a woman is shattered, it's very difficult to trust again. Unless God is in the picture, God will be able to change your heart to give that person a second chance. Because only him can change someone's heart. We humans, it's very difficult to even forgive someone that has hurt you. So at times, as much as you love this person, sometimes you need to stop fighting over someone that's got no respect for you. We tend to tolerate such behaviors because we always blame the other person. We always blame the other woman. And yet the man is to blame as well. Because we end up tolerating serial cheaters in order to keep him with the hope that you will change him. They never do. Maybe for that short moment, once they caught, when everything dies down and goes back to normal, they'll go back and do what they've been doing. So sometimes that's why from the beginning of a relationship, set your boundaries. Make it clear to that person. Because sometimes your man is the enemy here rather than the other woman. Especially if the other woman wasn't even aware that this person is married. Because remember, building trust is a gradual process. While you're in that process, try and get support as well. Because cheating comes with a pattern especially when it comes to a relationship. Going to a therapy may help you. That person may be able to understand the root of the problem that maybe you cannot understand. And when you're going for that professional support, you'll be able to make healthy decisions. Sometimes we make those decisions when we are angry and then we regret it later because you deserve to be in that relationship where you feel valued and respected. Nobody wants to be in a relationship where they're not respected. Because rebuilding trust where you've been betrayed before is very difficult. So that is why that individual healing is very important. Whether you're still in a relationship with that person or you're not. You need to heal for yourself and for the future. The future that you are planning for yourself. If you're both willing to continue with this relationship, you need to honestly assess. You need to change those little things that you both took for granted. It's important to make that choice that will align with your values and well-being. So don't go chasing the other woman because you don't know. Maybe there's another woman besides the other woman. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. God bless you.